Hello. In this video, we will see how to use spreadsheet to evaluate repeatability during our validation studies. As explained in the lectures, uh, repeatability expresses the closeness of the results obtained by analyzing the same object, object in multiple of times. And um, repeatability is the first type of precision considered in the lectures. The second one was intermediate precision, which is discussed later. So, for our repeatability, we here have some data available. And we have analyzed perfluorooctanoic acid in groundwater. And we have a sample that the concentration level is 10 nanograms per liter. And we have analyzed this sample on five different days during two month period. And we have five replicates or four replicates depending on the day. What we can firstly do is evaluate the repeatability of our one day. And as explained in the lectures, the most common way to evaluate repeatability is to find standard deviation. And we can use that formula here or the function on the Excel to find standard deviation. However, this value, the standard deviation, is in the same units as our um, result was. And this only characterizes the repeatability on the concentration level that our sample was. For more general overview, it's better to find relative standard deviation. And for that, we will first find an average value of our results. And also using this formula here, we can find relative standard deviation. And for better um, understanding, you can also find it in percentage. So it's about 5% our repeatability of one day. However, this result gives us repeatability of one single day. To get more better idea of our repeatability, it is useful to use pooled repeatability. And we can also do that using this formula here. And what we can, we can do is first also find the standard deviation of the measurements that we have done. And also we, what we can do is um, do some calculations and we, and we see that we need to find degrees of freedom. And um, degrees of freedom is actually the number of our measurements that we have done minus one. So it would be four um, when we have five measurements or three when we have four measurements. And when we have these um, data available, what we can also do is to find these uh, parts of our formula as well. So it would be degrees of freedom times the standard deviation. And find these values here. And once we have this available, we can find the repeatability of on multiple of days using this formula and we would get the number of 0.42 nanograms per liter. This is that would be our pooled standard deviation. Again, we can see here that the result is actually in the same units as well as our result was and it's on the concentration level that our sample was. And again, it would be more useful to use pooled um, standard deviation. And in this case, it would be relative pooled, relative standard deviation. And for that, we can also use this formula here and do some calculations. First, find the average value of all our measurements. And then what we would have to do is also find relative standard deviation instead of standard deviations. 
and that would be the standard deviation over the average value. And then we can see here that we have our relative standard deviations. And then we can also find these parts of the formula as well. And again, use the degrees of freedom and the relative standard deviations here. And then we can again, using this formula here, find relative pooled relative standard deviation. And similarly to the previous um, results, find the percentage value that would give us better idea of what's the repeatability evaluation. And that would be 4%, 4.1%. So, this was the calculation to find uh, repeatability during your validation studies.